So <laughs> if you're worried that uh, OpenAI is going to take development jobs right away, I don't think that's true. But hey, you know, next version, you know, in the future, I think it will be able to code much, much better. And it's going to take developers like you and I to uh, tweak this and we can build on top of it, right? So I'm already building some stuff and to make this a, a more improved model. And I'll make sure that everybody inside of the bootcamp gets access to anything that comes out. Essentially, I'm just trying to make that like the family of algo traders here. Um, as you know, I just, I just, I record what I need to build in the day. So I'm typically not just making YouTube videos. I just record what I need to actually create that day. And I need to get better with uh, OpenAI and see where the holes are because we're building something that will allow OpenAI to be even better and really be able to code with you or for you. So that's pretty exciting. So my guess here is it's not going to print out the DF because this is going to be an error, but maybe not. Okay, so it didn't. That was not an error. I've just had that happen a few times. That's awesome that it's working. So 16.824 is the last SMA 40, which is awesome. And SMA 20 is the last, last one. So it looks like it's doing well now. So with a little intervention, I think this can code pretty well. Let's go ahead and um, I guess continue. Mm, that rebuilt it. I should just keep going. Okay, maybe I'll just rebuild it all the way this time. But I think we have the code up here. Um, no, I'm gonna let it run it out, and then what we'll do is I'll hit continue. I'll say continue. Keep writing that code because we have gotten the SMAs correctly. We've gotten the last ones 